Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's take one more example. Here also we have to find the left limit, right limit and the limit for this function at x is equal to 0. So let's suppose this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So this function says that the function is equal to 1 for x equal to 0. For x equal to 0, this function value is 1. Because this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. And any other value of this x, you take 1, you can take minus 1, you get 2, any value, this value is 2. So this fx 0 is not included because at 0, this value is already 1. And for any other value, this is equal to so we'll get a graph like this, where at x is equal to 0, the value of function is 1, y is equal to 1, and x is equal to any value other than 0, the y is equal to 2. Here also now let's find the left hand limit and the right hand limit. So the left hand limit will be x is 0 minus for fx. And that can we can take any value of x that is less than 0. You can take minus 0 0.0001, correct? So f of this function at this point, minus 0.001 is equal to 2. You can see so this value is. Similarly, let's find the right hand limit. That is limit of x 0 plus. We are approaching this from the right side. So we can of fx. We can assume this value as f of let's suppose plus 0 0.0001. Because this point is plus 0 0.001. Let's suppose we can take plus 0 0.002 also we can take any value that is near to 0 and greater than 0. This for this value also you see the y is equal to 2. So here we see that left limit is equal to right limit. Correct? We can see that because the left limit here is 2 and right limit here is 2. So we can say that limit x is tending to 0 for fx, this exists, right? So if this exists, the value of this is nothing but 2. Why? Because that is equal to left limit or right limit. Since both are equal, so we can take any value. Here we have to find the left limit, right limit and limit at x is equal to pi by 2 for sin x. So this is 0. And let me assume this is pi by 2. And then this is so if you know that sine of x, sine 0 is 0, sine pi by 2 is let's 1. So let me suppose this is 1 actually. This guy is 1. And then again sine pi is 0. So this function is something like this. You know the sine function? Sine function is something like this. And again go to this, like this. Correct? Now, we have to find the limit at x is equal to pi by 2. So let's approach this from the left hand side. So what we get is limit x tends to pi by 2 minus of f of x is equal to nothing but f of pi by 2 minus 0 0.001 let's suppose. So that value is nothing but sine of pi by 2 minus 0 0.00. So if you see pi by 2 minus 0 0.01, this value is almost equal to 1. Correct. This can be, I think, 0.9999. It's almost equal to number. This value, if you see. Similarly, let's find the right limit. Right limit is x tends to pi by 2 plus of fx. This is nothing but f of pi by 2 plus 0.001 or you can say plus 0 0.0001 also. We just need some value that is near to pi by 2 and that is greater than pi by 2. This is nothing but sine of pi by 2 plus 0.0001. This is pi by 2 plus 0 0.001 this point here and for this point you see it's little less than 1 and we can say that is also equal to 0 0.99 almost. And that value is almost equal to 1. So here also if you see that the left limit is equal to right limit. Correct? 
since the left limit equal to right limit we can say that limit x tends to pi by 2 of fx exists and since this limit exists its value is nothing but 1 we can take any of these values what we have done we have found the left limit we have found the right limit and we found that both are almost equal to 1 and we told that left limit is equal to right limit so the limit exists and the value is 1 We'll take one more example. Here also we have to find the left limit, right limit and the limit at x is equal to 0 for this function. fx, x is equal to minus 4 where x is less than 4. x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to x plus 3. y is equal to x plus 3 for x is greater than 0. So let's draw first for x equal to 0. So we get this point 0 comma 0. Let's draw for x is greater than 0. So for 1, this will be 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So let's suppose this value is 2, this is 4, this is 6, this is 8. So for 1, this value is 4, for this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is minus 1. For 2, the value is 2 plus 3, that is 5, it is somewhere else. For 3, the value is 3 plus 3, 6. 3, the value is 3 plus, sorry, the plus for 1, the value is 1 plus 3, 4. This is somewhere here. It's not the point. For 3, the value is 3 plus 3, that is 6. So we get a graph like this. We will get a graph like this. But for 0, this is not valid. So we'll put a hollow circle here. This is the graph for any number greater than 0. For x equal to 1, you get 1 plus 3 that is 4. For x equal to 2, you get 2 plus 3, that is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5. x equal to 3, you get 3 plus 3, that is 6. Now let's draw for negative 1. x equal to minus 1, this value is minus 1, minus 4, that is minus 5. x equal to minus 2, this is minus 2, minus 4, that is minus 6. x equal to minus 3, you get minus 3, minus 4, that is minus 7. This is the value we get for various values of x. So x equal to minus 1 you get minus 5 so this is minus 2 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 sorry this is minus 8 so x equal to minus 1 you get minus 5 so minus 5 is somewhere here x equal to minus 2 you get minus 6 this is minus 6 and then you get minus 7 here this is minus 7 and then you get minus 8 I think so if you see this graph, this is somewhere here. This graph will be something like this and x is equal to for 0, this won't touch actually. This will be something like this. So what we have done this, x is equal to 0, this value is 0. x is equal to 0 0.001 also this, this equation is used. x is equal to minus 0 0.001, this equation is used because this value is less than 0 and x is equal to 0, this point is used. So, now let's find the value. Limit of x is 0 minus of this function. This is nothing but f of minus 0 0.0001 etc. Any number that is less than 0 and almost equal to 0. So, for this point, we'll have, we'll have to use this equation. Correct? So, for this point, this equation is um, minus 0. 0 0.0001 minus 4. This is the value you get, and this is nothing but minus 4.0001, and that is almost equal to 4 minus 4. Similarly, when I am to find limit of x of 0 plus of fx, this is nothing but f of plus. 0 0.0001 and that is nothing but in this case if you are talking about any number greater than 0 you have to use this equation so this is nothing but 0 0.0001 plus 3 right because x plus 3 is the equation and this value is 3.0001 is almost equal to 3 so when here we see this value is minus 4 and this value is 3 so here we can say that left limit is not equal to sorry is not equal to 
right limit correct left limit is not equal to right limit since left limit is not equal to right limit i can say that limit of x tends to 0 for fx does not exist here yeah? is not exist or not defined correct what we have done we have just plotted the graph we have found left limit and right limit and we found that left limit and right limit are not equal so we can see that this for this function at x equal to 0 the limit doesn't exist but if you want to find the value for x equal to 2 or x equal to 3 or minus 1 minus 2 for those points this limit will exist but for x equal to 0 it does not exist also we can see from the graph also at, from, at x is equal to 0 there is a broken thing it is not continuous so we can observe that for any point in the graph if it is continuous for example at x equal to 3 it is continuous so for this point the limit will exist for x equal to 2 it is continuous so at this point also limit will exist but for any point where it is not continuous or not defined at those points the limit doesn't exist for example in this case also at x equal to 2 since the graph is not continuous the limit doesn't exist thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again